All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna explain the differences between DDR4 and DDR3 in this quick two minute video. Taking a look at the two modules, we've got the DDR4 on top, DDR3 is on the bottom. They look very similar in size and shape, but there are some physical differences and these become more apparent when you stack them on top of each other. So I'm gonna zoom in, notice the pins on the bottom. Okay, DDR4 has 288 of these pins, whereas DDR3 only has 240. So the pins of the DDR4 module are narrower and there are more of them. Notice the location of the key notch is also different. That's because these are not backwards compatible. This means that you cannot fit DDR4 in a system designed for DDR3 and vice versa. You cannot put DDR3 into a computer made for DDR4. And this notch, this is where the, obviously where the RAM modules plug into the slots on the motherboard. This notch prevents you from being able to install the incorrect type of RAM. Notice the bottom of this DDR4 module is also kind of curved. That's a difference, physical difference as well. Okay, besides these physical differences, let's talk about some of the specs. DDR4 has a greater max capacity, so the density of the chips is greater, meaning you can fit more memory inside these memory chips. I think the max capacity for each of these modules is 64 gigs, whereas on the DDR3, the max capacity for each of these is 16 gigs. Besides that, the data transfer rates are faster on DDR4 or with DDR4 than they are with DDR3, and the voltage consumption for DDR4 I believe is only 1.2 volts versus 1.5 volts with DDR3. This is a technology that came out in 2014. DDR3 came out in 2007. So the only downside to DDR4 is really the cost associated with each module. And that is greater than that of DDR3 in most cases, but you expect that to go down over time. I hope this video was informative and helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.